Chicago, Illinois. Please welcome, all the way from Oklahoma City, the queen of rock and roll music, the one and only Miss Wanda Jackson. Well, I tour continually. Uh, we call mine the Wanda Jackson never ending world tour. I think uh, I'm happier that way if I'm working. On July the 2nd, 1953, I was serving time for armed robbery. Four o'clock in the morning, I was sleeping in my cell. Heard a whistle blow, and I heard somebody yell, there's a riot going on. Maybe it's helping to keep me a little younger in my mind and keeps me going. Shaking all over. It was good music and it's timeless. There's, uh, you know, and, and it represents a whole lifestyle, not just a song, you know. Big age gap there. <laughs> I knew his name, knew he was one of the hottest rock stars on the planet. Uh, but as far as, you know, knowing his work, I really didn't. Uh, he called and asked me to record with his um, company. Um, I started doing my homework. <laughs> I cheated myself. Found out how really popular and how talented and creative and everything that he is. The way he works uh, as a producer, I have described him before as a velvet covered brick. If you know what I mean, no. <laughs> well, I, by that I mean he's, uh, he knows exactly what he wants from the performer. You know, he's got the music already. Now he knows how he wanted me to sing this. And he really, you don't rest, you don't stop until you get what he wants. But he does it in such a sweet, kind, uh, gentlemanly way that I wound up wanting to please him. <laughs> more, give me some more growl, give me some more guts, you know. And um, the horns in the uh, songs make a great difference. I, I've always loved the horn section, but haven't used them a great deal. Oh, See my hands have a shiver, see 
knees have a quiver My whole body's in a tither I'm having a nervous break The energy that Jack has is, of course, I may have used to have that much energy. I hardly remember. <laughs> Every take, he was just right on there, just jumping around like a, y'all know uh, Mexican jumping beans? You know how you, <laughs> well, that's what he reminded me of and uh, his energy, just a uh, full supply of it. <laughs> and I'm just so flattered that uh, they found our music from the 50s and have just claimed it for their own. I think it's so wonderful. I say that uh, Jack pushed me pretty hard on this album. Pushed, he pushed until he pushed me into the 21st century. We'll see you next time. We love you.